good morning students today we are going to write the notes for unit 2 matter and material in the previous classes we learned the lesson under part 1 and part 2 you are going to write the notes during this class problem number 1 answer the following questions first one when can you say a material is waterproof material answer material that do not allow water to pass through it is called waterproof material example rain coat aluminium foil of tablet strip etc once again i'll repeat the question and the answer when can you say a material is waterproof material answer material that do not allow water to pass through it is called waterproof material example rain coat aluminium foil of tablet strip etc number 2 what is a light source answer light may come either from the sun or from other sources like an electric lamp or a bulb example sorry the objects that give off light are called light sources once again i'll repeat the question and the answer what is a light source answer light may come either from the sun or from other sources like an electric lamp or a bulb the objects that give off light are called light sources third question define a reflection answer the bouncing of light by any smooth or polished surface is called reflection once again i'll repeat define reflection answer the bouncing of light by any smooth or polished surface is called reflection question number 4 what is the difference between transparent and opaque materials answer transparent materials transparent materials allow the light to pass through them so we can see other objects clearly through transparent objects example air glass and pure water opaque materials opaque materials do not allow light to pass through them so we cannot see through these objects examples wood stone and metals once again repeat the question and the answer what is the difference between transparent and opaque materials answer transparent materials transparent materials allow the light to pass through them so we can see other objects clearly through transparent objects examples air glass and pure water opaque materials they do not allow light to pass through them so we cannot see through these objects examples wood stone and metals come to fifth question classify the objects given below as transparent translucent or opaque materials air rock water aluminium foil mirror snow wooden board polythene bag cd oil soaked paper glass tumbler and colored glass transparent materials air water glass tumbler translucent materials snow 
पॉलिथीन बैग ऑयल सोक्ड पेपर कलर्ड ग्लास ओपेक मटेरियल्स रॉक एल्युमिनियम फॉइल मिरर वुडन बोर्ड सीडी वंस अगेन आई विल रिपीट क्लासिफाई द ऑब्जेक्ट्स गिवन बिलो एज ट्रांसपेरेंट ट्रांसलूसेंट और ओपेक मटेरियल्स एयर रॉक वाटर एल्युमिनियम फॉइल मिरर स्नो वुडन बोर्ड पॉलिथीन बैग सीडी ऑयल सोक्ड पेपर ग्लास टम्बलर एंड कलर्ड ग्लास ट्रांसपेरेंट मेटीरियल्स एयर वाटर ग्लास टम्बलर ट्रांसलूसेंट मेटीरियल्स स्नो पॉलिथीन बैग ऑयल सोक्ड पेपर कलर्ड ग्लास ओपेक मेटीरियल्स रॉक एल्युमिनियम फॉइल मिरर वुडन बोर्ड सीडी now roman number 2 diagrams you have to draw transparent material glass number 2 translucent material vegetable oil third one opaque material log of wood diagrams three diagrams you are going to draw one is transparent material example glass translucent material example vegetable oil opaque material example log of wood under this lesson you are going to write five question and answer and three diagrams all these you copy down in your class work notebook you have to write with legible neat handwriting when you draw the diagrams you have to use pencil then when you are writing the question use black color pen and when you are writing the answers you have to use blue pen these are the standing instructions when you are writing science notes i think you are all very clear all this answer the following you have to learn next sunday you are going to write the test so you prepare well write the notes and get ready for the weekly test thank you students